"'Twas the night before Christmas. The wind bit the air. Snow dusted the landscape. Tree branches were bare. As the year 2015 came to its end, I sat down at my desk, a poem to pen. About the moments that made us stand up and cheer, the best of the best from the long sports year. Like OSU beating the Ducks for the crown, Zeke and Cardale really got down. The Super Bowl pitted the Pats versus Seattle. Brady's balls led the headlines before the big battle. Seahawks had a chance at a game-winning six, but the call was to pass, and Wilson got picked. Uh oh. In March, there was madness at Lucas Oil. The Badgers run, Duke did spoil. In Tampa, the Yukon ladies shined. Geno tied Wooden, winning a record 10th time. April saw Jordan's wild ride start. His first major victory was a work of art. 28 birdies led from start to end. That Masters win began quite the trend. On the women's side, they're still in B Park, but a young Kiwi gal has challenged her marks. Lydia Ko, golf's new reigning queen, the youngest ever number one at just 17. In June, the Blackhawks rose again, their third cup win since 2010. In game six, Duncan lit the lamp, Keith a worthy Conn Smythe champ. The Warriors won it all in the NBA with the baby-faced assassin leading the way. But a different Curry got all the good press. Riley Curry, way up, she felt blessed. Novak was king on grass again, defending his title at Wimbledon. Serena, a winner, still tops in the sport, her sixth singles title on center court. The calendar slam wasn't meant to be, but Serena still dominated at age 33. Rowdy Ronda was equally as great, just one loss for the butt kicking phantom weight. Damn! Sticking with women who kick major tail, what a year for soccer and Abigail. Wambach, that is, and her U.S. squad, kicking ass, taking names, leaving all of us awed. Through China, through Germany, Japan left to beat. A hat trick from Carly made the journey complete. Most watched soccer game in America ever. She believed, so did we, and their champs forever. The Lynx beat the Fever in the WNBA, winning at home in front of 18K. On the diamond, the Royals' bats came alive. First ship for KC since 85. We'll do it all again in the coming year. More winners, more losers, more reasons to cheer. Super Bowl 50, a San Fran treat. The Summer Olympics and the Rio Heat. Not just yet, though. 15's not quite through. We shan't rush ahead as we're off to want to do. Go get some more eggnog and savor this year. Merry Christmas to all and a hearty cheers.